Hey there, besties. We got to talk. Another day, another Tiffany Henyard video. Shout out to Big Tiff. She said, do your research, child, and research we shall do. So this site just happened to come upon me. Like, I don't even know how I came here. Real clear investigations, okay? It is an open site here. It popped up while I was doing my other research. You see what it says here in the blue box? America's worst mayor, double dipping pay, $365,000 U.S. taxpayer funded, Thornton Township, Illinois. I am Tiffany A. Henyard of Dalton, Illinois. This video will look at how to pronounce Chicago and Illinois. Il -i -no -i. Illinois. Not Illinois. All right. From Open the Books, which we looked at the other day to look at a few salaries there. We actually saw it. This is titled Waste of the Day, and this was only a few days ago, May the 13th, 2024, Embattled Illinois Mayor Sky High Salary Revealed. Residents of Dalton, Illinois have called Tiffany Henyard, America's worst mayor and opinion writers at the Chicago Tribune, called Henyard's salary out of whack based on reports she would take home $277,000 in one year. But Mayor Henyard actually took home a shocking $365,000 in total compensation last year. More than double any other official in her township, according to an open records request filed by the openbooks.com. So that's where they get this number from. We saw it the other day. I didn't feel like going to find video, but her salary was over 300000 So I absolutely believe that this is true. Key facts. Henyard makes at least $307,000 in gross earnings last year as the supervisor of Thornton Township, which includes Dalton. Then she double dipped and made a $58,000 salary as mayor. The next highest paid employee in the township made $187,000, which is more than half of the other township supervisors make less than $30,000. How does this happen? How does this happen? In an odd twist, Thornton's next supervisor will make $25,000 if it is not henured. The township's board passed a law that will lower official salaries only if the current board is not reelected, which critics claim is part of Henyard's effort to run unopposed. Allegedly, she will not be running, so that, that's the last thing that they got to be worried about. Attorney Bert Odelson, shout out to Bert, Henyard's political rival. Oh, so he is her political rival. That's why she doesn't particularly care for him. Told Fox 32 Chicago, it's illegal in so many ways. The noted Edgar County watchdogs have filed three Freedom of Information Act lawsuits demanding the details of Henyard's salary. Thornton Township recently settled their case and is currently producing payments, W-2s, and other details so investigators can follow the money. I wouldn't hold my breath on that. We're going to hold our breath on the FBI, though. In March, Henyard vetoed a resolution that all four trustees supported to investigate the mayor's purported misuse of funds. Y'all got false narratives out there and y'all should be ashamed of y'all stuff. Y'all black. Y'all are black. And y'all sitting up here beating and attacking on a black woman that's in power. Demanding her to submit the village's financial records and calling for an FBI investigation. So if you're not doing anything wrong, which Tiff always says she's not doing anything wrong, then why is it that she will not go ahead and give up that information or allow someone to go ahead and inve investigate? Because if you're not hiding anything, then it should not make a difference on whether someone investigates you because there's nothing to hide, right? Oh, come on now. We knew better than that when it comes to Big Tiff. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. And the quickest way to say that you hiding something is to sit up here and make sure that no one is able to see what the hell it is that you hiding. But float on, Tiff. We, we was born yesterday. We don't know nothing, child. Then in April, the village of Dalton, which is one of many communities that compromised the township, which itself is part of Cook County, hired ex-Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot for $400 an hour to investigate Henyard. And we don't put out the good things that is happening. But you guys got to connect the dots. D-O-T-T-S. What? Dots. 
is a steep price tag for a process that might not accomplish much. Henyard herself can veto the investigation and Lightfoot has no actual legal power, but it pales in comparison to the money Henyard has wasted since she took took office in 2021 which we already know she vetoed Lori Lightfoot. Again, I don't even understand what that was. The point of that was, I got to be honest. And uh, people are actually out here trying to say that the reason that the FBI came in is because of Lori Lightfoot. It's like, child, you think the, the FBI came in on a Sunday and they had a case by Wednesday? It just don't work that way. The controversy controversy began when Tiffany Henyard hired her campaign staffer and convicted child ex offender Lavelle Richmond as the village's code enforcement officer. So how the hell is that your friend, Tiff? That's the type of people that you be hanging out with. That's who you put on as your campaign staffer. Staffer, pause, no ditting. A recall vote last June would have removed Henyard from office, but she had her thrown out in court on a technicality and celebrated at her next board meeting with a disco sing-along. This April, Henyard was sued by a former employer, I'm sorry, employee, who says she was fired after accusing a village trustee of SA during a work trip to Vegas. WGN Chicago reported that Henyard spent almost $103,000 on travel in the past year, including first-class fi- flights up to 3741 per ticket. Now, that that I have seen with my own eyes, because I'm telling you, all these receipts are out here. All these credit card statements and everything is out here, child. She also billed the city $7,650 for assistants who did her hair and makeup for two months and spend hundreds of thousands on her security detail, including paying one guard $13,000 for supposedly working 303 hours in two weeks. Let's not miss that part. Shout out to the citizens of Dalton because y'all's calmness thus far is amazing. Tiff billed the city $7,650 for assistance who did her hair and makeup for two months. Mm, mm, mm. You cannot make it up. You cannot make it up. Fox News reported on public challengeship meeting in April where Henyard denied all wrongdoing, as we know she does. Same script, different day. Everybody wanted to continue to be a ish show and not really show facts as it relates to child. Every time that you hear Tiffany Henyard speak and she says, as it relates to, or it was really, really dope, take a shot. So what's really going on in our township, Henry said, guess what? I am the youth. She did not say youth. I promise you. She said, you, I am the future, no matter what you think or may say. So if Tiffany Henry is the future, then I'm out of here. Cause ain't no way. But then again, that's down adult, not where I'm at y'all. This is too much. So Lightfoot's investigation might not have legal authority, but the FBI's visit to Dalton Village Hall certainly does. There's no official confirmation that the visit was related to Henyard, but her situation could soon become much more serious, which we know it absolutely was. We already know what to expect or what she's supposed to provide, meaning the township, the town, whatever. It's her responsibility. She wants to be in charge. Now it's time for you to show and prove that you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. But then again, at the end of the day, don't show it. Don't give them the stuff. Don't give the FBI what they're looking for, because that's going to make it better for us, Big Tiff. Tiff, don't give it to them, child. That's going to be better for us at the end of the day. We almost there, y'all. We almost there. I think this is going to be a week and a half that we about to see. But that's it. That's all for now. Make sure you like this daggone video. Subscribe if you are new and comment. I see you all in the next one.